I'm Andy Sutton. Last night I had the pleasure of attending the launch of the Mobile Phone Museum. So I thought I'd share some thoughts about three of my favourite GSM mobile phones. The first is this particular device here. This is a Siemens M200 and it was the world's first 1800 megahertz handset. It was one of the launch devices for Mercury One to One who launched the network in September 1993 and in fact were the world's first 1800 megahertz network operator. The second device is actually one of my all-time favourites because I was personally involved with the Orange network back in the 1990s when we launched the UK's second 1800 megahertz network. This device is a Nokia 2140 or Nokia Orange as it was commonly known at the time. Also 1800 megahertz only but what was unique about this device was it could both send and receive SMS, text message, which was really unusual at the time because most devices could only actually receive SMS. The third device I'll talk about today is the Nokia 7110, or the WAP phone. This was actually one of the most uh, attractive mobile phones on the market at the time. And it used WAP, a wireless application protocol, to access text-based information services. So not really the internet as we knew it then, let alone as we know it now. Uh, maybe the industry did slightly oversell WAP the way it was advertised, but actually it was a useful utility to access news, travel information. Uh, Orange had a deal, for example, with lastminute.com to push out information as well. Quite a nice design device, a little navy roller in the middle for navigating, button on the back, which you could uh, press to, to actually release the uh, front slider cover. And then you've got a standard keyboard and a slightly wider and larger screen uh, because people were starting to consume information from that screen. So it was the start of that trend towards larger screens on devices. This device was dual band, so it supported 900 megahertz and 1800 megahertz. So if you want to know more, do visit the Mobile Phone Museum at mobilephonemuseum.com.